Just another piece of land, but what's buried beneath is affecting expansion of the, Jer of the New Jersey Turnpike. State highway leaders are now awarding contracts to build a 22-acre interchange on the Turnpike. And the site was once a graveyard, and hundreds of bodies are still buried there. The interchange in Secaucus will be located between exits 15E and 16E e near a new rail transfer station. But there are certain steps that have to be taken before breaking ground. New Jersey correspondent Marcus Solis joins us now live in Secaucus with more. Marcus? Well, Michelle, in the 1800s, this was a huge institutional complex where Hudson County's sick, insane, and poor were treated. Some patients died here, and they were buried here. Now, fast forward to the 21st century. The New Jersey Turnpike wants to expand, and so officials are awaiting state approval to dig up the remains and move them to another resting site. Anthony Just has lived in Secaucus for 70 years and is the town's former mayor. He remembers when there was a potter's field here. Today, the caretaker shed is falling apart and barely visible through overgrown weeds. Just says the cemetery was for the poorest of the poor. The facilities that were up here were to accommodate the sick people of Hudson County. There was an arms house here. There was the tuberculin hospital here. It was a full operation. The cemetery closed in the 1940s, and some graves were dug up when the New Jersey Turnpike was built in the 1950s. Now the remaining 600 to 900 bodies must be removed, as construction is set to begin on a new interchange that will be built on a 22-acre piece of land near the new Secaucus Rail Transfer Station. Spook you out? Absolutely. Uh, of course. I mean, we're working very close to the, to the uh, job site. And when you hear something like that, you, you know, you get a little, uh, a little edgy. Well, six, six to nine hundred people, it's a lot of people. Because there are no records, the identities and religious faiths of the deceased are not known. The Turnpike Authority says the remains will be dug up, cremated, and reinterred in another Hudson County cemetery. A memorial service is also planned. What we are planning to do is to significantly improve the conditions of, that exist today. Secaucus's town historian says the memorial is long overdue. I guess it's long coming because they said they were going to do that when they originally built the turnpike through here. They originally moved uh, uh, another cemetery that was a little bit further down the road and they were supposed to have moved this one too. Now McDonough says he gets a couple of calls a month from people who think they have relatives buried here in what used to be called Laurel Hill, but record keeping virtually non-existent. There's no word yet on how much this will cost or how long it will take. It still needs approval from the State Board of Cemeteries and from the court system, but the Turnpike Authority wants to be in construction on the interchange next spring. We're live in Secaucus, Marcus Solis, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Marcus. The eastbound lanes of interstate.